Hello everybody, how are you going? Welcome back to my channel and in this video today I'm going to show you how I animate and file for a shooting game. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking and my name is Duke. I'm making video for animation and visual effects. So please consider to subscribe my channel. So now let's dive straight into the content. Let's animate shooting animation with edge frames. And as soon as we click the mouse, the gun barrel will bounce and drag back just a little. Motion amplitude uh, should not be too large, otherwise feeling will not be real. I set the position and aiming direction for the gun according to the rule of third, and the barrel was pointed towards the center of the screen. The keyframes of position and rotation is now in the frame one. I will offset the position keyframe back to uh, make it more overlap. Overlapping and follow through is one of the 12 principles of animation and it will make the movement smoother. Next step is animate idle animation. As you can see over here, I animate idle with 80 frames or 100 frames. You can choose your number. Just make sure it looks nature. Keyframe in between here for position, you can make it move up or down, it's up to you. Here I make it go up. Next step is very important to make idle look more interesting. We will set the keyframe for rotation depends on the gun go up or down. If the gun go up, so the rotation will turn up. If go, if go down, the rotation will turn down. Then we can offset the rotation keyframes by few frames. You can offset how many frames do you want. And over here I offset it 20 frames. And because idle is the loop cycle animation, so we have to insert keyframe here. Then delete the last one. Next, just copy the keyframe at 100 and paste it back to the first frame. One more. One more thing here is uh, make sure our curve is smooth. So I switch to curves view. Now you can see our graph of x axis is not being seamlessly. So the last thing we have to do here is adjust the tangent. So uh, make this graph seamlessly and we are done. I made a boolean variable for transition from idle to shooting and back from shooting to idle and a set trigger for camera animation as well. Metal flash effect using impact shape texture and you might want to click the video on the screen now. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.